Oh, hold on a sec. This guy just walked in here and he's so annoying. My wrist has been hurting for a while. You're gonna have to wait like everyone else. Some people are just so rude. Oh, what movie did you see? I heard that's really good. Can you send the next patient in, please? What are you doing? That wasn't for you. Okay, Lisa, I am done for the day. Um, do you think you can help me with my wrists? This guy won't be able to afford his medical bill. You know, I mean, look at him. Oh my God, seriously? So tell me about him. Is he good looking? Oh, I'm so excited for you. <laughs> so tell me, what restaurant did you guys go to? Oh, oh, I love that place. The food is so good there. So what did you do afterwards? Did you go to a club or anything? Uh, hey, ma'am. Oh, hold on a sec. This guy just walked in here and he's so annoying. I'm on a business call. Do you mind? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. It's just um, my wrist has been hurting for a while. Well, all right. You're going to have to wait like everyone else. Okay. Grab a chair and I'll get to you when I get to you. All right, thank you. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Some people are just so rude. Oh, anyways, did you guys end up going to a club or something afterwards? Oh, you went to the movies? Oh, what movie did you see? Oh, I, I heard that's really good. I really want to see that too. Uh, no, no, don't, don't tell me the ending of the movie. That'll ruin it for me. <clears throat> Uh, hey, ma'am. Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt you again. Um, just that my wrist has been really irritating me. This guy is so annoying. Let me call you back, okay? Bye. Didn't I tell you that I would speak with you when I finished my phone call? Okay, yes, you did, but my wrist is really starting to bother me. All right, whatever. What's the matter with it? So yesterday, I had soccer practice, and I fell on it, then I put some ice on it, and I wrapped it around some gauze. Oh, well, you're gonna be all right. Just keep it wrapped up for a few more days, and, and I'm sure you'll feel better. Uh, no, 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 like, I think I actually, like, broke it. Like, I might need an x-ray. An x-ray? Do you know how much an x-ray costs? Do, do you even have insurance? Yes, of course I have insurance. <laughs> wow. You have insurance. Well, that's surprising. Do you have your insurance card yes, with you? Yes, I have it with me here. Okay, well, let's see here. Oh, I see your insurance is valid. Even more surprising. Wow, wow. What? Why is it so surprising? Well, I don't know. It's just not something I see every day. Whatever. Well, I, I see that your deductible is quite high. And? Will you be able to afford it? It's $500. Yes, I'll be able to afford it. Uh, just making sure. Go ahead and sit down, and I'll let you know when the doctor's ready to see you. Thank you. Yes, doctor? I just finished with my current patient. Can you send the next patient in, please? Yes, of course, doctor. Will do. What are you doing? Oh, I overheard um, the doctor say to bring the next patient. Uh, well, that, that wasn't for you. Well, I'm the only one here, so... Oh, no, no, dear. <laughs> That was for someone else. Okay, I'll go sit back down. Please do. Okay, Mr. Collins. 
I'm glad to hear you're feeling better. One thing, just make sure you take all the rest of your antibiotic prescription, okay? Good. All right, then I'll see you next week. You too, okay. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, Lisa, I am done for the day. Tomorrow I'll be about a half hour late, so it won't be in until about 9.30. Sure, doctor. No problem. Uh, excuse me. Um, do you think you can help me with my wrists? I wasn't aware there was any patients waiting. Lisa, I told you over two hours ago that I was ready for the next patient. How long has this man been waiting here? Oh, only about 15 minutes or so. That's not true. That's not true at all. I've been here since 2 o'clock, Doc. Lisa, this man has been waiting for three hours. Can you explain this? Sorry, Doctor. I, I was just really busy. Busy doing what? Talking with your friends over the phone? Please. Lisa, can you explain yourself? Uh, well, well, Doctor, you know. No, I don't know. Enlighten me, please. Come on, Doctor. <laughs> this guy be able to afford his medical bill. You know, I mean, look at him. Lisa, you know the policy of this clinic. We treat everyone, whether they have insurance or not. Now we treat the patient first and worry about payment later. Does this man not have insurance? Actually, he does have valid insurance, but his deductible is $500, and we both know he can't afford the $500. Lisa, this is completely unacceptable. How could you do this to a patient? Well, what were you gonna do? Have him wait all afternoon and without seeing me? I don't know, whatever. I just didn't want him to waste your time. Waste my time? Lisa, this is a clinic. We treat everyone. Do you understand that? Oh. Look, I've heard enough. Hi, what's your name, sir? Ricky Jackson. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Williams. You say your wrist is hurting? Yeah, so I was playing soccer yesterday and I fell on it. Okay, we can take a look at that. All right, appreciate that, Doc. Doctor, do you want me to stay longer until you finish with him? No, no, it's, it's after five now. You can just go straight home. Well, all righty. I'll see you tomorrow then. Uh, actually, you can go home and stay there. What do you mean? You heard me. Go home, stay there, and don't ever come back here again. What? Why? Because I'm firing you. This clinic has zero tolerance for racists like you. Now, get out and leave before I call security. Please, doctor. No. Oh. oh. Hey, I'm sorry again about the delay. Let's take a look at that. All right. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Doc. I really appreciate it.